Hello everybody. Thank you for all your lovely comments and compliments um, and for everybody who clicked lots of pictures and uh, just appreciated my uh, mascarpone cheesecake muffins that I made. Um, that was really kind of all of you. I really do appreciate it a lot. So as I promised to all of you, I'm going to share the simple and easy recipe. I won't be baking it today because I baked about more than 100 muffins for all of you yesterday. So kind of tired here of all the baking, but I'll share the recipe. It's very simple and easy. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate in writing me back or calling me. Uh, so these are the ingredients. You need one classic white cake mix. It's uh, you can find it at any store. It's uh, it has everything inside like baking powder and uh, sugar, lots of sugar. I wish it came with less sugar, but it does have a lot of sugar, so you don't want to add anything to it. Now put that in a big bowl and whisk two egg whites. The reason I didn't put egg yolks is because we want that light and moist and fluffy cake. And what the egg yolk does it, it makes it very rich. So I didn't use any egg yolk, just two egg whites. And just beat them along with your cake mix. And this is the key ingredient that I put. It's uh, Italian cheese. It's called mascarpone uh, cheese. Now I found it in Whole Foods. I'm not sure where you can find it. Probably in a nice store like Trader Joe or Whole Foods you could find this. So this is pretty bland. It tastes like very heavy cream and it's, it doesn't have any sugar and we don't need any sugar. So just put that, mix it all together. Make sure when you're making the cake, everything is at room temperature. That means the eggs should be sitting out on the kitchen counter for at least two to three hours. And same with the mascarpone cheese. You want it to be soft and moist, so it blends, everything blends in um, nicely together, as you don't want lumps of cheese. So it should be on room temperature, sitting outside and on the counter for at least two to three hours. And after you bake it, uh, I don't have my muffin tin, I, the, what I used, but you know how it looks, tiny muffin uh, tin I used. And the result was these nice cupcakes. Now what I did was, um, they are very soft. Even if I touch them, they kind of mush together. So um, I didn't want very sugary uh, frosting on top because as I said, I would prefer it to be less uh, sugary, but uh, it's a store-bought mix and you cannot really uh, change the sugar level in that. So anyways, I prefer having a tart kind of a topping on that so the sugar, um, the sweetness of the muffin and the tartness of the topping really blends well. So this is what I did. I got some fresh, uh, you can get strawberries, but I got raspberries. So get some fresh raspberries, mush, mush them up nicely in a blender or uh, with a fork and just put a little bit of powder sugar and just kind of, you know, just put each and every dollop uh, it on uh, top of the muffin that you have and just you can put one uh, fresh raspberry so whoever you know you are putting the plate in front they know what the contents are they'll know it's like kind of a vanilla kind of cake and they'll know the topping um, just when they look at it it's going to be raspberry so it's better not to have any guessing going on there it's always a good idea to put uh, what you have used ingredients on top of it so the person who's going to eat knows what he's getting into, he or she. So uh, thank you again for uh, looking at my recipe. I'm going to put it, uh, upload it right now so you all can bake it because many of you just wanted to go to the store right now and start baking this cake for your family. So um, enjoy baking and uh, I hope you enjoy uh, making it as much as I enjoyed sharing with you all. Thank you. Bye-bye.